Ronald McDonald House Charities Alberta provides an incredible service to families with children who are sick in hospital. Sadly, demand for this only increases over time, so the Edmonton construction community has come together to transform the house and help more families. Monica, it's incredible that Allaire is involved with this charity. Why did you guys decide that you wanted to be a part of it? Well, I think it started a few years ago when we served breakfast to um, the families here and we had a really fun time doing it and man, I, I think it's hard to describe but uh, the families, the team here, the children, obviously they kind of wiggle their way into your heart and uh, I think ever since then it's kind of started this little spark in us that we wanted to do more. So explain to me what exactly Allaire is doing at Ronald McDonald House. So Allaire is helping us to convert two of our larger suites on the second and third floor into more suites so that we increase our capacity from 34 rooms to 37 rooms in the house. Jeremy, this is going to be an incredible space, but what goes into designing a project like this? I mean, this is an older building. It had had a, a renovation previously. They almost doubled the capacity of the suites. So there's a lot of things about this building we we're looking to maintain. Obviously, the windows we we're trying to keep in the same locations. We didn't want to get into the exterior. Um, obviously, the existing plumbing and electrical and heating systems are in this building. So uh, it's, a, it's a restriction we have to work around, but really an opportunity to create, uh, take two big units and turn those into five smaller units to serve uh, three more families. Sounds like it's a little bit of a puzzle to put this together. Obviously though, with a great outcome, I mean, you're gonna provide spaces for more families. What goes into each suite? What are you looking to provide for each family that's using the facility? The main facility has kitchen services. Um, so basically all we're looking to do is almost to create uh, five small hotel rooms. Um, two of the, the suites upstairs are actually barrier free, so wheelchair accessible. And then three on this, in this unit will just be like kind of a standard hotel room with its own bathroom and closet. And most importantly, a place to rest their head. This is a community effort. You brought a lot of different friends, a lot of different trades with you. What does that look like? What goes into this? Oh, there's, it's just been absolutely overwhelming, the ethos of the construction community coming together for this. We, we all get excited to build, you know, million dollar homes, but the response has just been incredible. Everybody wants to help and contribute and participate. I think it's just an incredibly fulfilling project for everybody to be part of. What was the reaction when Richfield was approached to, to be a part of this project? Well, we, we've always believed in helping the community out and both of us have very young families that it'd be very unfortunate if we ever had to be in a situation like this. So I think with the Royal McDonald House, it's one of the things that you want to be a part of and you can really get behind. So what role does Richfield Plumbing and Heating play in the renovation? We're going to be installing all new plumbing in the, in the areas that are required and the plumbing fixtures and we've coordinated with different uh, people to donate fixtures and donate plumbing on, on our behalf. All the important behind the scenes stuff. For those that aren't necessarily familiar with what happens here, what is it that Ronald McDonald House in Edmonton does? So Ronald McDonald House is a facility for families whose children are seriously ill or seriously injured and they're having medical treatment in an Edmonton hospital. So they're from out of town, they're coming into Edmonton, the child's sick and they need somewhere to stay. So we provide uh, a room to, for them and we like it to be a home away from home. We provide programming, we provide meals. We supply a shuttle service to the hospital and it just helps to alleviate some of that stress that they're under at this time. You need a lot of help from community support, otherwise this place wouldn't run. What is it that you're asking for from the community right now? So the Edmonton community has been fantastic, particularly throughout this period when the pandemic was announced. And they've supported us through our Hero From Home campaign, where they've donated funds that has enabled us to make sure that the families have had a meal every single night since the pandemic was announced. But what we really need now is we need that financial support. So the house is very large, it costs a lot to run this house and we need money literally to keep the lights on. We need that money to pay our bills so we really are in need of financial support. Your dollar really does go a long way. What you're doing here is incredible. Thanks Caroline. Thank you.
And this is an ongoing project, right? So the work doesn't stop here. I, I, I can't wait. I feel like we're just really starting. There's, there's so much more that can be done. And for everyone, the more we get involved, the more we want to do. An incredible project from some incredible people. Visit Ronald McDonald House online to help support them. And to see more of this great work, visit allairedmonton.com.